We're going to cover installation on both styles of turnamic bindings onto the IFP plates. Uh, there's two different clip mechanisms that allow you to slide on to the ski. The double lock slider holds the pins up for you, makes it a little bit easier. You'll find this on race bindings and the upper end touring bindings. And then the clip lock where you have to manually hold up the pins is on one of the adult touring bindings and a couple of the junior bindings. So we'll cover both of these. Out of the box, there are two pieces to worry about. Okay, The main housing and the heel plate. So simply turn it over. You'll note on the heel plate that sizes are printed on here. So 36 to 38, 39 to 41. So depending on what boot size you're going to set this for, this will automatically set the heel plate in the right position for you. We'll set this one up for 42 to 44. And you want to use the back of the main housing here as the reference point for aligning the lines. The rails themselves, you want to come in at an angle and clip them in. Okay, if you try and come straight down, it'll be tough, but it's very simple. Angle it both ways. Now you've locked the heel plate on and you're ready to mount it on the ski. With the double lock, pull it back. That opens it up. And the ski has, the IFP plate has two, two components. So we're going to start with the main housing going on to the, the larger plate here. So slide that on. As you approach the heel plate here, just hold the heel plate down on the binding. That makes sure that it engages the rail system underneath and holds it on. Okay. There are index windows here. The binding's adjustable. Uh, typically, we'll set it at zero to start, which is the balance point. So once you hit zero, you'll see that through the windows, and then you can lock it shut. On the double lock slider, one click is not enough. You'll note there's still a little bit of red showing here. That means you're not fully engaged. So you want to make sure that you get that closed completely. Now you're solidly locked on and ready to go. The clip lock, it's really the same drill. Find the indexing that's correct for your boot size. We'll do this one for 41 to 45. And slide it in at an angle. Once again, that's engaged. The only difference here as you come to the ski is you're going to hold that clip lock up. Slide it onto the main housing and hold the heel plate down. Set it at zero and you'll hear it click into place. Give it a tug, make sure it's snug and you're ready to go.